Welcome to AstroVenture, the DSLR Astrophotography Channel. Hey there, AstroVentures. Welcome back. If you're new to this astrophotography channel, my name is George, and this is the astrophotography channel for DSLR and mirrorless camera bodies combined with the lenses we already own and a simple star tracker like the Sky Guider Pro or the Star Adventure. Tonight, I'm in my local dark sky park, and I just received two days ago my Laser Glow laser, and uh, I absolutely love it. And it's now 24 degrees out here, good and cold. And I figured I would do some test shots and let you see how the laser glow does compared with the Amazon cheap and expensive $15 laser. And just to interrupt myself briefly, sorry George, but I'll return uh, our, vi our viewers back to you in just a moment. Uh, the laser glow Galileo, all metal construction, turn it on and off from the backside. And then uh, the one thing that I do wish this had was a little metal loop so that I could attach a simple, um, you know, rope wrist strap so that I wouldn't drop this unit because it is pricey, as I said, uh, $89 at the time of filming. The battery goes in through the back here. It is a CR123A, also sold as a CR123, same battery. Now, I didn't expect the battery to be coming with the Galileo and this looks like all of the rechargeables I have of this style. I need to find out from Laser Glow, is this a rechargeable? I'll update that information in the, uh, the video info below once I have that. But if you need to purchase some lithium batteries, and if this is not a rechargeable, my suggestion is Amazon.com, no affiliation to this video or sponsorship or anything, but I found lithium ion batteries, or excuse me, lithium batteries for as pricey as two for $15 and as cheap as six of them for $10 and they were highly rated. To uh, put this together, the little nub points towards the rear of the laser, simply screw it on and there you have it. That is the Laser Glow Galileo. Now back to you, George. So let's go ahead and take a look at this picture. So in this picture here, you could see that the Laser Glow is shining nice, bright, and strong. And the Amazon laser, uh, similarly specced, is not doing anything. It's just not showing up. And part of that would have to be because in doing my research, the laser glow has technology inside to keep the power being fed at the same level. Where I can't say it's the same for the Amazon laser. So the laser glow, while one being a much safer laser because it does have an actual infrared filter in it, it's consistent, it works in the cold, and anybody with a green laser that lives in a cold environment knows exactly what I'm talking about. Once that temperature drops, you have to keep them warm or they just don't work. And so the laser glow, it was $89 at the time of uh, recording this. This is the Galileo and I highly recommend it, it's well worth it. Summertime use, sure, this would be great, but I do like the safety factor of the Galileo. So, if you like the content of uh, what we're doing here at AstroVenture, I would appreciate it if you like, subscribe, and ring the bell and share this video out. And lastly, would love to see you over on our Facebook page, AstroVenture DSLR. And until next time, I wish you clear skies and uneventful nights.